So now we're going to talk about refraction. Again, this is lab 11, refraction. This is where light enters a medium and bends. Uh, when it's in the air, they call that the first medium. That's medium number one, that's air. And then the second medium is either going to be acrylic, uh, plexiglass, or water. And I'm going to demonstrate, I can demonstrate with a laser to show you that the piece of equipment that we're using, which is this little semicircular, you can come up a little bit closer now, this uh, little semicircular uh, piece of acrylic here, and then the other is a, is a semicircular dish filled with water. So if I take the laser and I shoot it at the, at the uh, front surface, the flat surface of the acrylic, and they call that a prism. So when it goes through, you can probably see right through the prism the ray of light passing through. Can you, uh, let, me, let me turn the light off. Hey Siri, turn on my flashlight. Okay. So if I line this up, so it goes, you can see that it goes straight through. Now if I turn it at a certain angle, you can see that the light, when it gets to the other side, just comes straight out. You can see it's like right here along, along the table right there. Let me go down a little bit further. But you can see on the front side, uh, the laser is kind of hard to see. It's black. Uh, but on the front side, you can see when it comes in, it bends. And then when it comes out, it stays right along the line that it followed as it passed through the prism. So what we're going to do is very similar to the previous lab. We're going to put the optics table in front of the light source. Turn on the light. And... The, the, frat, uh, the flat surface goes right on the little footprint. You can see the footprint here on the, the, tape, the optics table. So we're going to put that right on there. Uh, you don't have the beauty. Well, you actually can still see that nice little circle. So uh, I set it up so I can see the circle, which means everything's aligned. And I'm going to move the light source so it's running normal to the surface. All right, when it comes out, I also want it to be coming straight out because when light goes straight into a medium without an angle, it just passes straight through. And we'll be talking more about that in the preview PowerPoints and in lecture. But when it comes straight through, uh, everything is nicely lined up and I just moved everything. So let me move it again. So it's lined up like that, like that. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it. So it's at zero degrees right now. I'm going to turn it to like 10 degrees. And if you look over here on the other side, you can see it's about six degrees. And again, you can read to a tenth of a degree, but I'm uh, just pointing it out. I, I don't think you can see the six degree line, but 10 degrees is where my index finger is. So you can see that the light has bent. They said when you go into a denser medium, the light bends toward the normal. So my 10 degree angle has now decreased to a six degree uh, angle. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna just investigate all these different angles. And again, you can go at least to 70, see there's 70 degrees. You can see it's really starting to distort the light ray. But what's nice is uh, even though it's distorting it, it's acting like a lens, uh, it's coming to a fairly nice focus on the other side there, uh, where you need to make the, the, me the refracted angle measurement. Okay, so I went to, here, I'll go to 75. And again, you can see the refracted angle is only 40 degrees. Pretty amazing. All right, and uh, let's see, let's try 80. So 80, it only went five, uh, I went from, what was it, 70? 75. 75 to 80, and it only refracted one more degree. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the original position and uh, again, you can see it's on, it's on zero. So this, the second trial is we're going to go from acrylic, which has an index of refraction of 1.49, uh, to water, which has an index of refraction of 1.333. It has four significant figures because 
it's a, a substance that is always the same. You see, with acrylic, a company's got to make a recipe and bake that stuff. So the index of refraction will be slightly different for uh, different acrylic, pieces of acrylic. Even when you go from one recipe, I mean one, one baking to the next, it might be off by a little. So I only have three sig figs for the acrylic, but I have four sig figs for the water. So anyway, I got the water set up like that. And just like the previous, you can barely see, here I'll put a shadow on my head on there. Can you see that okay, coming through? It's not quite on zero, I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. This is a dish is a lot bigger than the acrylic, so it's a little bit difficult to make the angle measurement, but not really. Uh, you can see it okay. And as I turn that, again, I'm at 10 degrees, and the angle is about um, seven or so. Let me go to a much bigger angle. So I'm at 40 degrees, and again, that's called the, the incident angle is 40 degrees, and for refraction, it's called theta one. For reflection, it's called the incident angle theta i. But for this particular uh, topic, refraction, the first medium is labeled theta one, the second medium is labeled theta two. So once it's in theta two medium, if it then comes out, the theta two medium becomes theta one medium, and the, theta, uh, the other medium, the, the third medium, becomes theta two. So when you work the problems in class, you'll see the light will be passing through like three different media, and you gotta adjust it each time. Okay, Doctor, I think if I turn off this light real quick. Hey Siri, turn off my flashlight. It's off. Okay, we might be able to see that. Can you show us the... Uh... The refracted ray? Yeah. Okay, so the refracted ray, can you see my finger right here? Yes. Okay, the refracted ray is right there. I'm at 40 degrees, and it looks like about 28 degrees for the refracted angle. And, and that's it. You're going to be plotting an angle, uh, a graph of theta 2, the refracted angle, versus theta 1, the incident angle. Anything you want to add? No, so just to clarify, so you see that the light is coming in, that light beam is actually coming in 40 degrees off the dark line that's, that's denoted as called normal. The normal line, correct. Okay, so there's the normal line. There's so. normal right there, zero oh. degrees. And now watch as he goes up to 40 degrees. That's 40 right there, dead on. And you can see it's coming out around 20, 28 or so. And then the outbound light is off to the right of the screen. And you see it's coming out at about 28 degrees off the normal, which is that dark black line below where the light is coming out of. And you can also see a reflected ray as well. There's always reflection when light hits the boundary uh, between two, two media, by the way, media, plural of medium. Okay, so I need to demonstrate one more thing. So the, the, the actual lab data that you're supposed to collect is finished. But there's one thing you're supposed to observe, and that's called total internal uh, reflection. So I've got this, uh, tetra, uh, this tetrahedral shaped prism call the 45 45 90 prism and when I let light go through the back end you can see that the light passes right out 40 uh, 90 degrees to the angle that it hits the surface at that's called total internal reflection there's nothing coming out on the side that the light beam uh, was was in, in, uh, was incident upon and you can clearly see that but I can also adjust this thing, and so you can see how the light ray is now coming out of that side over there. Because the angle is now less than the total internal reflected angle. It's called the critical angle of the material. So if I turn it back, you can see it'll go 90 degrees right to the surface. And you can also see that the light that's coming out at 90 degrees is getting more and more intense. So I'll go back again. Okay, now you can see there's light bouncing off. There's always light that bounces off when it hits a surface, but you can see the refracted ray is coming off like you're doing in the experiment. But if you keep going, you can get to an angle where the refracted ray is 90 degrees to the surface. 
Now this will only happen if the second surface is less dense than the first surface. So right now the ray we're looking at is a ray inside the prism. And when it hits that surface over there, the second medium is air. And air is less dense than acrylic. And so it'll undergo what's called total internal reflection right there. All right, so that's a little demo you're supposed to look at. You can see the lights bouncing off uh, the case that holds all the equipment. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful on the table there? This is a pretty powerful laser. Uh, you can point out constellations in the sky at night uh, with this. Okay, so we're signing off, and we'll meet you again on Zoom.